Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So behind me here is my little orange Home Depot rental trailer that I bought when they surplused it out of the fleet. So today I'm gonna to talk about five things that I absolutely hate about this trailer. So let's get right into it. Number one is this swing away swivel style tongue jack. I just hate it. I wish the trailer had a normal style A-frame out here with a normal coupler that would have a hole in the center of the coupler for a tongue jack. I know that the reason they did this is because it's a rental trailer and people would probably completely destroy a tongue jack that was built into the coupler like most trailers have. Number two, it's kind of hard to see back here, but I absolutely hate it when trailer manufacturers use the chassis or frame of the trailer for your negative connection for the lights. Granted, it's good to have the electrical system grounded between the truck and the trailer, but you should not rely on the chassis of the trailer to provide a ground connection for your running lights or tail lights. When that connection goes bad, which is bound to happen on a rental trailer that gets driven all times of the year, and this connection back here can get corroded and everything, when those connections get iffy, then the lights start to do really weird things. The little side marker light on the front edge of the fender is also connected to chassis ground. And number three is the expanded steel mesh gate. It's good for hauling things like lumber or lawn equipment or whatnot, but hauling yard waste, this is just a complete nuisance to deal with. In my previous video, I was showing how I hauled pine needles. Well, that was the first time I had used the trailer to haul pine needles, and that's been over a year ago, and it's the last time I've used it to haul pine needles. Actually, I think that was closer to about a year and a half ago. You simply can't drop this tailgate and have the expectation that you'll push all your pine needles out the back because what happens is they all get intertwined in that mesh gate and it's just a nuisance to deal with. So you can see here I have a piece of plywood. I'm probably going to cut that piece of plywood to fit the ramp gate and use some great big fender washers and some hardware and attach that piece of plywood through the mesh. That'll make it much easier to deal with for y'all hauling yard waste. Number four is this registration holder. I got a lot of questions in my last video about what is this little pipe with the PVC cap for. It's for holding the vehicle registration. I don't need it. Any general consumer doesn't need it because you're only going to be using the trailer with one vehicle typically, but because this was a rental, that's why that's there. So at some point I might cut that off and grind this flat and paint it. But the reason I don't like it it's kind of in the way when you're wanting to step here. Especially if you want to step here with two feet. You just got to watch where you put your feet. And number five is how they've got the license plate light wired up. So there's a little tiny hole back here through the frame. The wire goes through the frame. There's actually a little, little rubber grommet there. Then it comes down. Then it goes up through another little tiny hole and I've actually replaced that license plate light. It was, the original one was all bashed up and I put some heat shrink around that wire where it goes down through this hole. And then I put two little zip ties to hold that in place so the wire doesn't have a tendency to move up and down so much and uh, chafe through that heat shrink. 